Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of a Perfect Fit Closet webinar for Monday, December the 5th, 2022. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the differences between our kitchen doors and drawer fronts, as well as our closet doors and drawer fronts. So we'll be talking about kitchens K-door and DF. And our closets, we're going to talk about our regular C-door, connect between fixed shelves and drawers with a drawer front. I've got my 2020 open and I have already got labeled a K door and DF. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and actually delete these because people are asking where to actually obtain them. So I'm gonna just go ahead and delete these. And I'll delete this drawer here and we'll start again. So everyone can see where these are located. So I've got a regular tall module First, let's draw a four kitchens, the K door and the DF. So underneath my local browser, I've got my Perfect Fit Canada United States catalog. I'm going to double click on categories and underneath categories, I've got my modules, parts, accessories, hardware, moldings, obstacles, extras. Underneath, I have my K door and DF. So I'm going to drag and drop a K door, typically used for kitchens. I'm going to drag it in. I see my magnet and I'm just going to drop it there. Up and down. And I'm going to resize the height just a little bit here to make it a little bit taller. And let's move this down. Next is a regular DF. So again, underneath my categories at the very bottom, I've got DF, kitchen drawer front standalone. I'm going to drag it in. And I'm just going to go ahead and drop that there. So I have my two items. And these are typically used for kitchens. For closets, I'm going to go into my categories. And underneath parts, underneath parts, underneath cleats and toe kicks, valences, backs, I have C door. Door connect between fixed shelves. I'm going to drag and drop it into my module. And it's going to be for my closets. Next, I'm going to go ahead and drag in underneath my categories, parts, drawers. And I'm just going to pick a regular drawer, a 12 inch drawer in MDF, MDW12. Drag it, see my magnet, and I'm going to just drop it in. I'm going to change everything in its entirety. So I'm going to go to my items and options, and I'm going to change everything in its entirety to TFL level two, just so that we can have a wood species, a wood color, gray authentic oak for everything in its entirety, just so that we can see the grain directions here. So I've changed my drawers my finishes and now i'm just going to go ahead and change my drawers as well so everything's in gray authentic oak we'll click on okay and let's open up our perspective view in our perspective view we can see the four items that we actually just produced this is going to be for our kitchens And this is going to be our K door. You can notice on our K door the vertical grain direction. Here is going to be our DF underneath our kitchen items. And we can see that the grain direction is horizontal. Here for our closets, this is going to be our C door. And this one here, oh, my apologies, looks like here it just auto-saved. I'll just open that back up again. And I'll go ahead and just retype that in. So we can see here now I've got on the labeled on the left-hand side, kitchens, K-door, vertical grain direction. I've got the drawer front, horizontal grain directions. For my closets, I've got it inside a module. I've got a C door. Again, the doors are all vertical. And the drawer front with the box, we can see that we also have a vertical grain directions. So really, the only differences between the K door and the C door um, is, is really nothing. It's just parts, all vertical grain directions. For kitchens DF, we have a horizontal grain directions. And the regular drawer with a box, we have vertical grain directions. Okay, So that is 
exactly how we lay it out. The render is perfect and it does match the actual um, items depending on your clients. So we have kitchens and closets. So let's take a look at when we would veer off from this, when we would use it and so forth. Okay, so let's just clear this item here. So the question that that is actually asking is, is if I make a mistake and let's just say the installer damages one of these doors, what should you do and how to reorder it? The first thing that you could do is you can actually try to find the dimensions of this door. So you can go ahead and click on your annotations and so forth and try to find like the height and the width and so forth. So that's one way to do it, but I don't recommend it this way at all. So people typically will try to figure out the exact dimensions, it's 67, 5 16, or you can right click on the door itself and click on attributes. This is gonna be more accurate. It actually tells you the exact size. Height is 67 and 5 16 and so forth. So we can certainly do all that. We can figure out exactly, you know, the up and down, the left and right, the in and outs. And the actual width of the part is 30 and 5 eighths. But that's not as accurate. The easiest thing to do is in case you actually do want to reorder this door, the best thing to do is to re-mimic this door and then delete the actual module. So if I want to reorder this specific door that is damaged or broken, or you just need to reorder this particular part, then you would go ahead and re-mimic the exact design drag in your door, and then you can actually delete the tall module. If I delete the tall module, I have another dialog box that appears that says automatic deletion of connected items. The following objects will be deleted due to the last action performed. Click on OK to delete the item. Click on cancel to keep the items and undo the last action performed. So I want to keep just the C door. So I'm going to say keep. So if I Highlight C door, keep. I can now just delete this actual shelf. I don't want that shelf either. And now I've got the same door that was ordered during the time of the ordering process. So that's how I would reorder a C door. So again, I would delete the module and keep just the door itself, as opposed to going to my categories, kitchen door, and dragging it in and trying to re-mimic that exact same door. So I could essentially find out the exact dimensions. And reorder this door. So now if, if, if I go into my K door, we'll go into my attributes. This is what not to do. I can go my variables. The height's going to be 67 and 15 sixteenths. 57, 15, 16 and my width is going to be 30 and 5 eighths. If I go up and down, it looks very much the same. Oh, let's see here, 67, 15, 16, I guess it's not correct there. I think my number was off. Height is 67 and 15, 16 so it looks pretty much bang on. Everything looks the same. Dimensions are the same, but it's not the same. Do not do this method if you need to reorder a C door. The best thing to do to reorder a C door is exactly what I just showed you here. If we need to reorder the part, grab the exact same module. Grab my tall module. I'll make this one 30 inches wide because that was the original module that I had. We'll drop. And we'll just go ahead and remimic that. I originally had a drawer here that was 12 inches. That was dropped here. I have my parts, shelves. And I had a C door. So if I ever need to remake a door and reorder it, I would build the module like so. Then I can right click the module and select delete. And I want to keep 
and we'll delete anything else that we don't need. And delete. And now I have my door specifically tailored. Oh, my apologies. That was the wrong item that I deleted. I wanted to delete the shelf. And now I have the exact same door. The exact same door as what I ordered with during the actual ordering process. So that's how I'd reorder a C door. I would not use a kitchen door. Kitchen door, I would only use it for cabinet refacing to order for kitchen doors alone. The next question that I had, and let's delete all this. The next question I had was regarding drawers and the different grain directions. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete everything that I have here. All right, so let's talk about our drawer fronts. So we know that for our categories and underneath DF, grain directions are horizontal. If we click on our parts and our drawers, all these grain directions are gonna be vertical. So we know that. But let's say a client wants a whole bunch of drawer fronts to be horizontal. So let's go ahead and, and build a module here. So go into my module, let's grab a tall module and we'll drop one in. And let's drop in a 30 inch wide module. We'll drop and let's add a whole bunch of drawers. Categories, parts, drawers, and let's add a whole bunch of 12s in there. And let's go ahead and add a shelf. And that's typically how a module would look like. So I've got three drawers. All 11 and a quarter. All right, so now that we have our drawer fronts with our doors, sorry, our drawer fronts with our drawer boxes. And let's just delete that here for naming. Let's go ahead underneath our items, features and options, and let's change the grain direction. And let's do everything to TFL level two. All in gray authentic oak. Click on okay. And let's look at our perspective view. And drag that in. And we can see all our drawer boxes with the drawer fronts all in vertical grain direction. Now let's say a customer wants it a horizontal grain direction. Easiest thing to do is grab my annotations, figure out what the height and widths are. So we have 30 and 5 eighths and 11 and a quarter. We could easily check this again in our attributes. So I can right click on the items, go into my drawer, go into my attributes, and let's find out the exact dimensions and let's double check that it is in fact 30 and 5 eighths and 11 and a quarter. On the left hand side, underneath our general items here, we can go to our drawer fronts and our drawer front. Now that it's selected on the left-hand side, let's left-click on our variables. If we go underneath our variables, we can go to part height, 11 and a quarter, and part width, 30 and 5 eighths. So in fact, it is exact measurements. What I would do on the off screen, I would then go to my categories, go to my kitchen drawer front, drag it in, and I'm going to go ahead and drop this. I'm going to right click on my drawer front. So now I'm on off screen. We'll go into my attributes. And in my attributes, I'll go into my variables. And my height, I want this to be 11 and a quarter. And my width is going to be 30 and 5 eighths. So the exact dimensions is as the existing. We'll click on OK. And I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm going to right click my DF. We'll click on duplicate. I've got my plus button and I'm going to just drop another one here. 
And again, I'm going to right click, left click duplicate, and drop one in here as well. Duplicatings are great, but I always still like to double check the attributes just in case. But my width is 35 eighths, height's at 11 and a quarter, which is great. And I'm going to verify the other duplicated item. Thirty and five eighths widths and eleven and a quarter quarter widths. So these are all the, exactly the same. So now what I can do is I can actually go into my features and options, and all these drawer fronts and everything like that. I'm going to make everything to be gray authentic oak, level two. Click on OK, and let's take a look at our perspective view. So you can see the vertical grain direction and we see the horizontal grain direction. I want to replace these vertical grain directions with the horizontal grain directions. The easiest way to do that, once I've got all my parts, is I'm going to zero the quantity for these drawer fronts. So I'm going to go ahead to my existing items that I do not want. I'm going to right-click each one of these items. I'm going to right-click our DF, Go into my attributes, and I'm going to set quantity zero and OK. We'll do that two more times. I'm going to right click DF, attributes, zero quantity, OK. And one more time, right click DF, features and options. Oh, sorry, attributes, I should say. Right click DF, attributes. Zero quantity, OK. If I right click off screen, we go to show item list, we can see that three of my drawer fronts are now quantity zero. There's one right here, zero DF for drawer front zero. If I scroll down, I have here again, zero DF drawer euro. And if I can find the other one, there's one here, one here, and the last one. One, two, and let's see here. Oh, that's the one that we want. There should be another one that says zero. I could find it, but it is here. So it's all zeroed out. One, two, one, and I don't think I zeroed it out, but we can go back into our show design and just try this again. So right click DF, DF attributes. Oh, maybe I did select zero. So that's the one zero. Right click. This DF, go back to attributes. And I'm just going to verify here, zero, OK. And one more time, DF, DF, attributes. And that's also at zero, so that's perfect. So none of these items are going to be ordered at all. But we are going to be ordering these items here. So that's going to replace all three of these drawers. Now let's just say, now I'm going to delete these. Now, let's just say that one of your existing drawer fronts is missing or damaged. Let's just say that you just need one of these drawer fronts. The easiest thing to do is to open up your existing design. And we're going to delete the tall module. We're going to keep everything. and But we don't want anything except for one drawer front. So I'm going to delete everything that I do not need. I'm going to delete the shelf, delete the cleats. And I only want to keep one of these here. And now I'm going to go into my features and options. Oh, so my apologies. We're going to go into my item list. And we're going to delete everything except for the drawer front. So I want one of these drawer fronts. But I don't want anything else. So I'm going to zero out everything else here because I just want the drawer fronts. Let's go to my attributes. Quantity zero. I don't need any screws or any Dowels. So again, we'll go into my attributes. Zero. And same thing with everything else. Uh, 
And these looks like they're screws. I do want one drawer front, which is $35.32. There's no handle, and I don't need any of these screws either. So I'm going to go ahead and zero the quantity out. Attributes again for the last set of screws. I always give a whole bunch of screws. Click on OK. And now everything has been zeroed out except for the drawer front. And this is the exact same drawer front that I need to reorder in case my installer damages and so forth. In the render, it always looks complete. But again, we're just ordering in the drawer front. Hopefully this presentation helps you out a little bit there in terms of grain direction, what to do, what not to do. But I highly advise whenever you want to reorder a door front or a drawer front, or you want to change the grain direction, I can certainly help you out. Please do contact us at support at perfectfitcanada.com, or you can email me at sherwin.keeley at perfectfitcanada.com, or give us a call. We'll be happy to assist. Thank you, everyone.